moment it's filming okay hello boys and girls my name is heavenly for those of you who do not know me i'm 17 canadian girl who loves jesus i've come to you today with five signs you are in an unhealthy relationship and this is coming from somebody who's never really been in a relationship so it makes a lot of sense so let's just jump right in yeah Number one is passwords. I literally titled it passwords. This is when your other wants all your passwords to all your social media accounts. Okay, let me explain why that is bad. That is because they do not trust you and who you're gonna talk to and who you're gonna see in your news feed. And this is when they also unfollow people on your friends list or your followers. And they get mad at you if you like somebody else's photo. Eh. Okay, I'm a beach you <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. There's no trust in it, like... They don't want you to be friends with girls from the same town as you. They don't want you to be friends with your cousins. They don't want you to be friends with your sisters or your brothers. <laughs> like, a person in a relationship should know who to follow, who to unfollow, who to talk to, who to not talk to, whose photos to like, and so and so. They want your password to your Facebook, your Instagram, your Snapchat, your Google email address, your Bebo account, and your MSN. Like, I cannot imagine somebody wanting, like, your bank account information. It's a little sad. And we're all controlling. Which leads to my next one which I call whereabouts. When your other wants to know where you are all the time. Hey babe, where are you going? Where's that? Give me the address, the number to that house, the friend, the last name, the parents, their uncles, their aunties, their cousins, the country, their serial number, their bank account information. <laughs> Guys, it's, it's ridiculous. These are some of the reasons why I'm still single. I thought person wanting to know all your information on your passwords and all that stuff was a little bit scary and controlling, but this is bad. It's a big sign that this other wants to control you. Get a hold of your friends that you say that you're with to make sure you're not lying, or your parents, or your cousins, anyone who might know where you are, they cannot find you. And they get mad if they can't find you. <sighs> no, no. They're insecure and they obviously do not trust you. And the third one is on and off. And now all of us know a relationship where a boy and a girl are together on and off on and off on and off not only is it unhealthy but it's exhausting and you guys get serious get married you can't divorce get married get divorced get married especially if kids were to come into the picture and it is a waste of time it just it's just a waste of time and emotions that you can spend on somebody you know who won't disappoint you so much times you deserve a better than that stop putting yourself through repeated heartbreak if it's by the same person then their main thing of being in a relationship with you is probably to keep themselves happy, not you. That's probably why, and that may be your reason too. Finding this person... Do you guys hear that bee? There's a bee. Hey dude, I'm filming! Can you get out? Ugh. Ah. Okay, it's over there now. Maybe you should be single for a while because Either that person is insecure and kind of using you to try to complete them and every time you disappoint them, they'll kind of drop you. You're probably doing the same to somebody else and you should learn how to be single because you're probably lonely or insecure and we should really work those things out before jumping into a relationship or we'll end up making mistakes. Sign number four, and this one is kind of an obvious one, the secret. The secret. This is when the person doesn't really talk about you. You want to keep it on a down low a little bit? You know, I don't want, like, I just got out of this relationship. Or whatever other excuses he plans on using. I don't really want to make this official. 
Yeah. Like, it's not like we have been talking for like a whole six months, right? You know, I can do it. Girl, you're probably a sad chick, I'm sorry. It's, it's a really big thing to talk about the person you're in a relationship with and this sign is to show you that this person doesn't technically want to make it official or whatever. Just leave, leave right now. Just go and don't talk to that person. Just leave in any direction that you can because you do not want to be stuck in this relationship. <laughs> Don't put all your heart out into somebody who doesn't want to take it serious yet. Like, it's such a dangerous spot to put yourself in. Like, always keep your heart close to yourself. Don't give it up so easily, especially to somebody who doesn't want to take you completely seriously and take you as a whole and tell the world about you. Because every girl and every guy deserves somebody who will tell the world about them. That's what I'm waiting for. Side number four. Five. And you guys, this makes me so mixed emotions. Now this one is when your relationship is revolved around the do. Making love. Doing the nasty. Or just the overall term, sex. This is when your relationship is probably revolved a lot around sex. This is when sex is required to keep the relationship together and it is the biggest lie society in Hollywood tell you that you need sex when you're dating somebody when dating somebody should be when you're realizing if this this is the person I might give my all to this is my person I want to give my future to but I want to get to know for dating is to figure out like whether this person is actually fit to you know give yourself to guys we do not need Sex to keep relation to get <laughs> this is when the guy or the girl kind of pressures you mostly guys I'm sorry I don't mean to be kind of sexist or stereotypical whatever but jazz I'm just saying guys have a stronger sex drive so it usually comes a lot from guys keeping a relationship together and it's super super bad and I literally dare you guys to stop having sex <laughs> I don't know, try it. Let's see if your friendship is genuine, your relationship is genuine. This is what dating is all about, seeing if the relationship and the friendship is genuine. And then you can get really distracted by sex. And a lot of girls can be tricked into thinking they love a guy just because they had sex with them. And that is because when you have sex with somebody, you bond them together. You bond yourself to the person you have sex with. That is why it is so hard for girls to let go of a guy they had sex with or to get over a relationship is because they gave themselves completely to this guy. The most intimate way two humans can interact. Hello! Come feature yourself into this video. It's my brother. <laughs> Just wanna walk in front of the camera. Okay you guys, this place is gonna get teared down today, so and my cousin is on his way to come and tear this down, so I kind of hope I got a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I literally appreciate it very much and I hope you enjoyed it. Peace. <laughs> Alright, who are we texting? <laughs>